welcome aboard. My name is Adam. We have Austin, Chloe, Aiden, Zara, Dennis. Where are you all from? Bermuda? All right, yeah. Perfect. Beautiful place. I, uh, and we got uh, Coletta here from Oahu. Thanks for coming out. I come from Utah, been out here about 15 years flying throughout Hawaii, excited to show you the garden off from the air today. Did we all receive a safety briefing from our ground crew? Perfect. We do have briefing cards in our seat box. If you want to review any information, you can grab one anytime for you two up here. And then for the four of you, they're all going to be in these pockets there. So feel free to grab one anytime, guys, if you need. For the first few minutes and last few minutes of the flight, we would uh, be in the airspace. So the FAA requires a stagnant cockpit. You won't hear much from me. I'll be with you as soon as I can. And we are recording this flight in case you want to check it out later. Three cameras on the outside and uh, one on the inside. Other than that, keep everything inside. Keep up fastened. Let's go some fun. Ready to rock? Perfect.
I'm with you here, my friends, cruising along this really pretty ridge. This one's called Haupu. We're going to follow Haupu westward towards Hamatepe Valley. And we got Koloa and Poipu over on the left side. Great place to check out if you haven't been over to Koloa or Poipu. Highly recommended. All kinds of great beaches along here. And typically sunny weather makes it an attractive draw and place to stay and visit. Also, a bunch of good food trucks, restaurants in the area. Two old Kaloa towns just beyond the reservoir, uh, reservoir here. And where the sugar industry started in 1835, they grew sugar all throughout Hawaii along with pineapples. And they all started going out of business throughout the 1980s and 90s. And, uh, yeah, just couldn't keep up with the competition. But yeah, make sure to check out Old Kaloa Town when you're cruising through. Yeah, to get there, you'll take Phoenix Highway 520, that's Palo Via Road. And uh, that's just up ahead. And around here, we just call it Tree Tunnel. It's lined with these eucalyptus over 100 years old. Of course, eucalyptus coming from uh, Australia originally. Grows really well out here in uh, Hawaii. Here is that tree tunnel. over there, 30,000 acres, the largest in the United States. That Hawaii coffee, you can always stop in, check it out, uh, grab a bite, uh, a little snack there, of course buy some coffee too. And so we are going to jump in this valley ahead, it's called Hanapepe, same name as the uh, town here by the bay. Hanapepe actually means Crush Bay in Hawaii. So yeah, all the water draining out of this valley coming out right there, Hanapepe LA, LA Landing. And uh, yeah, you got Glass Beach over there, the often overlooked Salt Pond Beach. Yeah, so uh, boat tours also take off out of there, the larger ones. Historic Hanapepe Food, Art, and Shop, Hawaii's biggest little town, also the hometown of Lilo and Stitch. So we'll descend into the valley here, check out some cool waterfalls. And just want to remind you all to keep those ears adjusting with the pressure change we descend and climb today. Check out this cascade, it's called Mana Waipuna Falls, I'll give you some turns here. And this is the same one the pilot descends and lands at to take Dr. Grant and the rest of the crew into Jurassic Park. Most of which was filmed here back in 1992.
Yeah, Monowaipuna means powerful running spring water. This is a spring fed system here, the right side. Really ate in it. Yeah. Always flowing. All of this valley here, private property. Back in 1864, a woman came from the UK and negotiated a purchase of all this property ahead of us and this whole valley here, the waterfalls included, everything up to the next canyon down to the shoreline summit. So 40,000 acres total is this pretty much is. And also, she got that island of Niihau, which is just coming up on the horizon, about 11, 12 there. So, how much she paid for that? $10,000 in gold. Uh, yeah, it's kind of a lot of money back in 1864, but really not that much. It maybe equates to what about 400 k would be today. So yeah, that's, uh, no matter how you slice it, they got a good deal. So all that land in between Hanapepe and Waimea, those fields, very valuable property, that's all there. All the way underneath us here, this whole canyon coming up as well. We're pretty good stewards of the land though, haven't developed it, put any city or commercial over there. So it's really nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, Lake Canyon. Uh, this is a middle erosional feature here. It gets more deeply eroded as we work our way west, guys, as the volcano gets older as we go to the west, northwest as well. So more time for all the elements to work on it. More rain, more wind. A tremendous amount of uh, erosion here coming up in Juanea Canyon and here, of course, Old Haley as well. Lots of rain high up on the right, draining down hundreds of thousands of years at the top of the volcano to behind the cloud there, up at the back of this canyon, Old Haley. It's about 5,250 feet above sea level, highest point there. All this really pretty red dirt coming into view. This is all caused from the iron in the lava. About 10% of that basalt lava rock is iron. It's constantly being oxidized, rusted by the humidity and precipitation. Giving us these really pretty red. Any of you driven up the one man canyon? Of course, not yet. All right, all, all good, got you covered. The road starts in uh, town at the bottom, back there about 8 o'clock, goes all the way up this rim. And once you get up a ways here, there's some multiple uh, lookout areas to do some nice views of the canyon and a bunch of hiking trails as well. About uh, 45 miles of hiking trails. So. Yeah, really nice sights to see. Beautiful day to day. My nightmare. Oh God. Oh, the pain is getting worse. Twilight Falls would be my right side over there, Chloe. Hate it. I need to now all this water draining down. Hey, wildlife wise, what do we have? Lots of goats. Got goats all over the place. They really love all this area here. Very vertical. You can find them all over the walls and cliffs. Pigs as well. Uh, native, not native to here. Uh, or the here, uh, the black-tailed deer, pigs, goats, all brought here by humans. The only thing that existed prior to human arrival, guys, is birds. A lot of native bird species here throughout the Hawaiian Islands, uh, about half of which have been eliminated through other invasive species, but 
Yeah, still got plenty. Uh, Hawaii is the most isolated island chain on Earth, so really no way for much to get here unless it can essentially swim or float or fly. Uh, lots of great hiking trails, so if you want to do some hiking, it's a great place for it. Check it out coming up here, running a little bit low at the moment, this is Waipo Mall. Yeah, this one's really great hike, it's three miles out here. Canyon Drive 550 and just up a little further we have, have a uh, lodge cafe Navy base left side there, and uh, just after the base, the road ends, and Poly Coast begins stretching 17 miles up to the North Shore, and again across the channel there. Hee hee how? What you think of that canyon there? Pretty stuff, eh? Feeling good so far, guys? Perfect. Canyon, I would recommend driving to the end of the road. It's just another 10 minutes past the lodge area, which is right by these antennas. But just after the lodge, you have the uh, Koke, uh, the Kalalau Overlook, give you a nice view of the Kalalau Valley, weather permitting. And, uh, worth a shot.
Let's check out that open air skylight the boat's about to cruise into. Nice place to wake up in the morning. Look at you got these incredible fluted cliffs behind you here. The cathedrals, as they're called, and incredible what nature has cut out here. And Colorado Valley, so. If you drive to the top of the canyon, that's where that road ends, high up there. 
be a nice view down the valley. Uh, yeah, I always recommend driving down. Valley, three miles deep, two miles wide, and a lot of Hawaiians used to live right below us here for centuries. The vertical nature of this coastline is in large part because of wave action. The really big waves in the winter time come from left to right and really chip away and smash out the, smash out the, the rock here at the coast and all kinds of caves and cavities. Boats will cruise into these caves, pretty cool. This is the time of year for that. Make our way up a little bit further here, give you some turns off of these. Uh, yeah, pretty incredible, uh, very, very popular place throughout time. Even uh, Hawaiian mother islands would travel over to Kauai and uh, even the Maui coast and trade and compete in hula and talk story, all kinds of stuff. Battle, I'm sure, from time to time. This is the Ho'olulu CK. Just a moment, guys. We've got a strong headwind. We need to make a little progress here, then I'll double back. And on a copy, I beat. This is two miles into Kalalau Trail, guys. Really great hike. Highly recommended if you're able. So it starts there, comes all the way up north. Super nice. 
behind. Uh, so pretty here, Bali High Ridge. Love it. Was, what do you think of that coastline? Good stuff, huh? Mother Nature. Uh, nailed it. So the thing about KA, real quick, uh, do you need a parking reservation for this beach and uh, the next one, unless you have a local one, uh, then you can just roll right up. But uh, otherwise, yeah, make sure to go online to get that uh, parking web at uh, gohyena.com. And this is named after Hyena Beach, which is just here off our right. Hyena turns into tunnels of Makua Beach. And low tide at the moment. See all this reef exposed. There's great snorkel, surf spot here, tunnels. The winter, the waves, yeah, again, get super big. We had, uh, 35, 40 foot bases mid January all along the North Shore, and they were towing in and catching those big waves all up and down here and throughout the Hawaiian Island chain and North Shore. It's always an exciting time, looks a lot different. A lot of water moving around, sea spray, and yeah, very tumultuous. At this time of year, yeah, even though the wind's blowing a bit, making the water a little rough, we can still see all the way to the bottom, all this pretty reef, because not too much getting churned up. Just passing Waniha Valley here, right side, Lumahai in the middle. And the next one. Just after uh, Lumahai, we have uh, Honolulu Valley. Cruise over, check that one out. Pit still off our boat. Great place to stay up here, North Shore. And we also have the famous Honolulu Bay. The historic Honolulu Pier built in 1895. Great place to post up. Plenty of parking, restroom, showers there. Make that a great spot. Plus, you can jump off the end of the pier. Try that off then. And if you come up, uh, yeah, jump off the end of that pier. It's quite fun. I just like to do that over and over. Uh, really pretty views out there on the pier, just all around you. This here beach called Lumahai. What a beauty this one, but usually quite rough. Habitat, super pretty, just hundreds of thousands of years of the rain and wind. Carving and cutting, you see a chunk just out of the side, right over there, Aiden, and there. And there's these little chunks just come out all the time, landslides, and vegetation will fill that in, and then just continues to repeat all along these valleys, and a little bit at a time. All the crop you see in the basin of the Hanalei River is uh, taro, the primary starch of the Polynesian. The root vegetable, similar to a potato, typically will boil that mash into a purple paste called poi. You can find poi at a grocery store, Luau, if you really want to try it. That purple and tasty, not super tasty for most people, but it is sure a nice uh, dish and healthy and one of the 24 canoe plants that the Polynesians brought over. May not have survived without it. 
pretty awesome. About 70% of the state's payroll comes right out of here, Hanalei River Basin, Hanalei Pulley Company. Check out this stunner, phenomenal comedy, you can see it from the pier there, beach, Princeville, or Hanalei, Princeville as well, and this nice backdrop. Love this one, phenomenal comedy. Clouds almost pretty sweet. All right, saying goodbye, North Shore area. We're going to make our way upstream, Han Olay. Never hit the end of Willis because we only see by air. Bacoa Falls just ahead here off of our nose. Bacoa always flowing as well. Filmed a couple scenes of movies in this one as well. One from Jurassic World. And one from Tropic Thunder. So all the waterfalls, streams coming down the sides of the walls. Just all form the Hanalei River coming out right next to the pier there. Waters here of the valley. We'll make our way out the back and onto the Waiale Ale crater, the main crater that formed this end. Waipuna AF across the way there. Coletta, nice one, always going that one. A little old faithful, I call her. Uh, solid, let's go jump in that crater. Nice alley there, eh? I like it. The, this part here, very, very cool. The Waiale Alley Crater, where it all began. Essentially the birthplace of this volcano. And one of the wettest spots on the earth. And that's uh, about uh, 500 inches of rain we get on average.
about that in there. Cool stuff, eh? Ah, really powerful spot. Love that. Crater. Oh, wait. 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 That drains out of the crater there, flows underneath us, and heads out through the path in the sleeping giant and Kalefa Ridge there. That is Wailua River, the largest and the longest song in the Hawaiian Islands, about eight miles long. Little Hana Crater just over here about 2 o'clock off there, Coletta. One of the last eruptions we ever had here on Hawaii, about a million and a half, two million years ago. Uh, everything pretty much extinct until you get to the Big Island. Three out of the five volcanoes uh, that make up Big Island are still active, including Kilauea, the world's most active, Mauna Loa, the world's largest active volcano, uh, or alive. Sleeping Giant, there's a trailhead for that. Great hike. Cattle ranchers rounding up some cattle below there. That's cool. Looks like a fun thing to do on a Sunday. Got some bananas going over there at the left. And uh, we got the Wailua River. Wailua River going right through the Kepa. Yeah, really pretty on the Wailua. Getting into the airspace here. I want to say thank you so much for coming out flying with us today. Hope you had a good time. Enjoy the flight. <laughs> Beautiful day out here. Wow. Appreciate you coming out to check it out. Uh, hope you had fun. Talk to you here soon. <laughs>
thank you very, very much, my friend. Awesome. You are welcome to move those goggles over the top and hit the seatbelt come off. Hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday out there. Take care and aloha. Come on.